hello hello friends because i'm doing this on my profile a little bit different than before i just wanted to share more and share the more to who are my currently on my friends then i'm going to share this to my group and my page and all those different places right and it's interesting because this topic that i have here you know what do purpose uh essential oils and the holidays have in common well there's a couple of things and that's what we're going to talk about and I just think it's it's keen, uh, it's very important for me to communicate all of the things that I am and that I do, because it's often like, okay, here's my essential oil corner, here's my coaching corner, here's my YCLA corner, here's my university corner, here's my church corner, here's my, what else do I do? Having a life corner, and I mean, those things are having a life, right? And I think as much as who I am is what's going to show up and I want to show up in every facet of my life, especially in my business, especially in the things that I do, so forth, right? So I'm just going to go live on my page. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe people are watching, maybe people aren't. That's okay. I'm going to share it after. So I'm going to start with a couple things. I'm going to start with YCLA. So many if you don't know, uh, last year, around this time, well, in like two weeks, I won, uh, got, became the recipient of the Young K Manual Leadership Award, which is such an honor. I still want to cry thinking about it, and I just think it's just such a beautiful honor to be given. And of course, it's been fun, but it's a response. I, I don't take anything that's been granted to me lightly. Like, I think. It's very much I'm ordained for a certain season to do certain things. And so I want to take it with seriousness and ethics and integrity and, you know, all of I have. And so this last year. My internet may cut out. Hmm. It tends to actually happen often. So that just means I have to be quick, though this is not gonna be quick. So you're just gonna have to bear with me if it cuts out, I'll pause and come back. And so I had to pick a platform and, and I knew that it was supposed to be purpose and potential because it was around the time that I really felt in my heart that I was supposed to do coaching, that I was supposed to really be an educator and an empower person and that was through coaching in the oils. And so I knew that I was gonna have to leave my accounting job eventually and uh, really pursue uh, this coaching business really that at my heart was to empower others to be healthy and thrive in all areas of their life. Hey, Alejandra, hope you're doing well. Feel free to say hello and jump on. And, and so I knew that when I won, that was going to be my, be my platform. And so every time that I spoke in the young, through, you know, the leadership organization, I spoke about success, leadership, purpose, and potential and constantly were asked, was asking people, you know, if you could do anything, what would it be? Do you know that you were made for more? Do you know that anything you put your mind to, you can accomplish? Well, at the same time, I recognize that I wanted to have do that way more often than just then. So I started life coaching or kind of purpose coaching, really helping women and men go to the place where they're like, I know I was made for more, whatever than whatever area of life. Because most of them was at the time was vocation, like. I know that I want even occupation. I want to do something more, make more of an impact in this world. So I helped a great friend of mine start a ministry, a women's ministry that she did online. Uh, and that like fosters with online and it's, and it's growing. And then I helped another friend kind of discern that maybe the current occupation they were in was not really in line with what they wanted to accomplish and do in this world. And so constantly, you know, I've been talking about purpose and at the same time, I've been pursuing mine, which is to help others live their lives more fully, more abundantly, and life to its full through coaching, through essential oils, um, and, and so forth, right? So it's just been such a beautiful journey to empower my people, both locally and empower the women that I get to know around the world um, through my online coaching and even essential oils. And so purpose, what does it have to do with essential oils in the holidays? Well, purpose is because it's the season of Young K Manual Leadership is happening again, and I'm getting the honor to hand this over to someone else and still be involved in some way 
um, purpose. I really think in regards to essential oils, my one of my purposes is to empower people to use the gifts of the earth that God has given us through these natural plants, natural things for their health, for their, and just for their good. You know, I really believe that is a part of it. And it's not always an easy work. It's a lot of teaching. It's a lot of research. It's a lot of like meeting with people. But when someone can tell me that they use peppermint essential oil to help them with migraines, that they have never been able to resolve naturally, and they no longer use conventional medicine, not that the conventional medicine is bad, it's just the overabundance of anything isn't good, right? Then I'm like, well, I gotta keep doing this because I believe that when we are given something that transforms our lives and uh, our just whole being, it is actually, it's not, like I actually think, it's for me, it's a sin to hold it back. I, I, can't, I can't keep it to myself when I know that this can impact someone in a way, in a really powerful way, physically, emotionally, mentally, and even financially. There are some people who do essential oils full time. There are some people who do all this stuff full time. And so I, that is why you always hear me on Instagram, on my Facebook, in my groups, talking about essential oils. Because the more I learn about it, and I just got all the new oils, the more I learn about it, the more I'm prompted to share. And that's anything with my life. Like, there's something else that I'll be, I'll be focusing on financial health next month in my business. Well, that's because I've been through a whole seven, eight months where God did a deeper work in me and that, and I have to share. All right. That was a break. Okay, so when you know that others could be set free in some way, you have to you have to walk in it, right? And so I am excited to really offer women in particular an opportunity to do that in a very value-driven way, but very like easy, low barrier to entry. Because I do have one-on-one -on -one coaching spots that are kind of booked right now, and most people are like, I want to work, I want help in my physical health. I want help in my purpose and vocational health. I want help in my mental, emotional, financial, relational, and all these different areas, but I can't afford it at the moment. And so that is why for the next three or four days, my members club for women that focuses on holistic health, that has a private Facebook group, has a monthly coaching call, tons of trainings available, and monthly trainings, accountability partners. That is why it's only available for 37 US per month or 99 US for three months. Up until Friday, I'm closing the community on Friday for the rest of the year to, in order to build the community and really serve the women well. So if you know that you're looking for help in your health, your life, and your purpose, and you would like support from a community and coach, join the, the Healthy and Thriving Women's Members Club. It is time. And so that is something there, that's kind of what I'm talking about purpose. Like if you want some help around that, if you want some help around your whole health and life, there is where we would focus and you will get me directly there to support you. The next thing is essential oils. There's so many things that I'm doing with essential oils now and I'm just loving it because I truly believe it is just a gift. Uh, so tomorrow, a podcast, I'm going to release a podcast around essential oils, why everyone should use essential oils. And it's with one of, um, one of my mentors and one of my leaders. And we just have this amazing conversation about our experience, why we share them, and um, how you can learn more about them. And then on Thursday, I'm doing an essential oils for skincare class, because let's be honest, most of the chemicals and toxins we interact with on a daily basis are in our skincare products, and we don't even recognize it even things noted as natural. So we're gonna talk about those common things you wanna look at when you're looking at skincare products and then talk about how essential oils or even some of um, doTERRA's actually skincare products could be a good solution for you. So that's Thursday evening at the Art Nest Creative Studio, 7.30 p.m. But if you're not in Cayman and you cannot make it then, well, I'm gonna be sending out a replay that I recorded um, for that, of that class with the slides and so forth. So sign up for that. I'm going to put all the links for everything in here. So then the holidays. So you have the purpose and this coaching club that can kind of help you in your whole health, your life, and your purpose. Then you have essential oils that can do that too, actual products that can help you live a healthier, long-lasting, fulfilling life. And then the holidays. What does all the purpose and essential oils have to do with the holidays? 
The holidays are a time that can be so good. It can be so good because you're spending time with family. You're, Jesus is we're celebrating his birth uh, for, the, for the Christians watching this. And there's just more of a sense of community, a sense of peace, a sense of belonging for some. But it also can be a very tough time for those who are maybe grieving the loss of loved ones or uh, you know, don't have that certain friend around or not with their family around that time. But it's also a time where, you know, physically, we're just eating more food and different foods that we're not used to eating. Emotionally, again, with the, the, the emotions around the holidays, good and bad, mentally, it can be stressful. It can be fun, but it can be stressful. Because you have to, like, do this, do that. There are so many Christmas concerts, which they're all good, but whew, there's a lot going on. Relationally, you could be interacting with people you don't normally interact with for a reason, but how do you pursue reconciliation? How do you manage that situation well? Uh, financially, it is a time where we probably spend unnecessary amounts and then January, February comes and we're like, oh wow, rough, which is fine. It's fine to give gifts. It's fine to bless others. We're called to, but how do we also manage our finances and take control of that in such a way that is good and so forth? And then, you know, all the other areas of health, it's a time where it could be very a good time for our lives or a very hard time. And how I want to support people in the holidays is through the Members Club uh, and through just with the women, with women, just really helping them walk through that. And then through essential oils, I'm going to be having classes throughout the holidays. Well, I'm, I'm taking a break in December. I'm actually taking a break, guys. You know, classes on essential oils one-on-one, and then there will be some holiday classes. And just even with that, how can we buy gifts that are affordable and actually beneficial to people's health and lives, right? So it is a time, the holidays are a time where we can either move forward with our health and life, or we could pull back and say, oh, in January, oh, in February. No, the time is now because you'll always be saying January. You'll always be saying February, right? So I, I want to ask you and leave you with this one question. What do you need to do this holiday season for the rest of the year that will move you forward in, the, in your health, the goals, and just the life that you want? What do you need to do? Because the time is now to do that, not to do it in January. Because if we constantly start delaying the things we really want, the things we really desire, it's never going to happen. So if the new year is coming and you want to like, I, you're like, I want to pursue this hobby. I want to pursue this passion. I want to pursue this business. Or I want to finally, finally take care of myself for the good for the long haul. If you're like, I want to, I just want to, to live a full and abundant life. What do you need to do now so that that can happen in the new year? Because it's not always in the moment. We, you know, Without a vision, it says in Proverbs, without a vision, people perish. Like, we need to have a vision. We need to have a plan. So I would love to support you in two main ways, through coaching and especially the members club, um, as well as using essential oils. And so I'm going to post the links to everything that I mentioned so that you guys can just really think about it. Think about that question. If what's going to really pu push you forward in your goals for your health and your life now and in the new year and is joining the members club and is using essential oils a part of that? Maybe, maybe not. But if it is, I'm here. All right, so thanks for those who stayed. Thanks for watching the thing go in and out. And I hope you all have a great, great Tuesday. October is nearly done. Um, but I'm so grateful for this time of year for so many reasons but I know that it can be hard for some, so I want to be there to support you guys. All right, have a great one. Talk to you soon.